hi guys welcome to your daily dose of vitamin e if you don't know what vitamin e stands for please what have you been doing join the family like because their members vouching for the fact that we are hella stupid elite over here and that's on period Hi guys um welcome to the channel once again by the thumbnail i'm sure you have an idea of what this video is about and i just put it out there to help as many as you guys that are going through the phase of not being able to pay for your apple music and to be able to pay for your icloud story i was stranded because i didn't know how to pay for my icloud storage and you know as youtubers we have a lot of videos to save and then you don't want those videos missing so i didn't know how to go about paying for my apple music and my icloud storage and it was so difficult for me because i was so down and i didn't want my phone to like break down or like switch off or just go off for me so i searched on youtube i searched on google i searched for ways on how to be able to pay for my apple music video is not going to be long it's just going to be informative for those people out there that are finding it very very difficult to pay for their apple music and their icloud storage and don't know what to do especially we nigerians we africans we are passing through this problem and it's not convenient not easy for some people that are using iphones and they've not created a means to tell us the way forward or what to do I had a clue on how to come out from this whole problems with paying Apple Music and paying iCloud so you can be able to assess their futures. They're not accepting Nigerian cards for some reason, which I don't know. I don't know why they're not accepting Nigerian cards to be, to be candid with you guys. And I feel it's so unfair because they've not made a statement on how we Africans should go about this issue we are dealing with. They just automatically stopped accepting Nigerian cards and made us like stranded and in a position whereby we cannot help ourselves. So by my right side, I would be putting like a screen recording of the app that I use to be able to pay for my Apple Music and for my iCloud storage. And that app's name is Cheaper Cash. I'll be putting the link down below so you can be able to like go there, download the app and be able to pay for your Apple Music. Cause you know, I have y'all's best interest at heart. I'll try to do as much as possible to help any of you going through any problem. So cheaper cash is a virtual dollar card for those that can afford to pay for a fiscal dollar card and for students we are using apple music using icloud storage and we can't go to the bank and start looking for how to get a dollar card because dollar cards are very very expensive so cheaper cash can be used to be able to pay for online shoppings like your aliexpress if you're having challenges using your naira cards they offer like virtual dollar cards and virtual naira cards too so for those people that also want to pay for their dstv their go tv at the convenience of their homes you can also be able to pay for it through the cheaper cash app First of all guys, this video is not sponsored, so don't think this video is sponsored. I'm not promoting cheaper cash, I'm just doing this for y'all's best interest, yeah, because I love y'all so much. So, um, yeah, basically, cheaper cash is a virtual dollar card that pays for your online transactions that your Naira card can pay for, because most of our Naira cards are being locked out from online payments involving international countries even for apple music and icloud storage so steps to be able to use your cheaper cash app to pay for your apple music goes as follows 
step one you download the cheaper cash app which i'll put by the right side of the screen here and you install it obviously so after installing your cheaper cash app you fill in your details you fill in your name address your phone number and they'll send you an otp for you to be verified which can take some minutes or there about so if you don't get the otp and you're not able to receive the otp try again by like resend clicking on the resend otp button and then you get access to your otp so once you access app you need three things to be able to access this app one is either your um, international passport two is your national identity card and three is your driver's license so you need at least one of these three to be able to use this app and what i used was my national id here so if you don't have any of those three i'm sorry i don't think you'll be able to use cheaper cash app at all because you have to be verified and you have to verify that it is you and so a third party doesn't assess your account without your knowledge and without your approval that's one thing about you can cash out. but don't worry guys i got your back so you have to get verified before you be able to use the app and for the verification process it takes less than 48 hours so you can get verified in a day and that's so good because you'll be able to pay for your music and your icloud storage space getting verified for you to get the um, virtual dollar card you should have at least 3,000 in your account because 2,000 goes for your virtual dollar card and 1,000 for your naira card for those that want the naira card but the naira card is not compulsory neither is the dollar card compulsory so you can choose any of the two whichever works for you and for our stay at home moms our stay at home dads and they're looking for a way to pay for their apple without having to walk to the um without having to walk to the station or being to pay for your good tv or for your electrical appliances that's your nepa and the rest you can be able to use the app all you have to do is to get verified and use your naira card yeah and the naira card goes for 1000 naira only while for the virtual dollar card it goes for 2000 naira only then after that you go to the section where you're verified you claim your card you click on claim your card so when you click on claim your card they'll tell you how to be able to pay for it through a bank transfer yeah they have given you an account number to which you can transfer which is your cheaper cash account number which you can transfer from your main bank account into it and be able to use the money to pay for your error card or your dollar card after paying for your dollar card you sh should be able to click on your cheaper cash virtual dollar card so you can get your cvv and you can also get the account number to which you would use for it after that you go into your payment which is on your settings click on your payments and add payment method so in add payment method you copy the account number which is on your virtual dollar card and place it there alongside your cvv and then wait for um some minutes and if it doesn't work then you have to fund your cheaper cash and i noticed for some reason you paying with a dollar card will require times two of the payments which is on your apple store so if you're paying for icloud story that's 500 naira you'll be paying 1000 naira instead because they get a certain amount from your dollar card yes I don't know maybe because the um, dollar has increased and a lot of things a lot of factors which i don't know but i know that you pay times so what you're supposed to pay so if you're paying for your apple music i think you're going to pay times two of what you pay for your apple music so you have to fund your cheaper cash app very well so with that being said that's the end of the video don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share with your friends and i don't know if you can guess in the comment section we've reached one year on youtube but i won't talk about it here on this video do as well to get me to what will i say 500 subscribers get me to 300 subscribers get me to 200 subscribers as many as you can do and 
stay tuned for the video that will be coming up celebrating my one year on youtube <laughs> yeah i'm so grateful to you guys i'll do a video on it entirely so i don't want to talk a lot on this video if you still have problems paying for your apple music or your apple icloud storage space go on the comment section and type out your problems and i'll look for a solution for you to come out of it because it is very disheartening not being able to pay for your apple music or your icloud storage click on the link in my description box and download the app i'll do as much as possible to reply every single one of them that's where your step two Ugh. oh Talk to me, I can't take my hand